Okay, here we go with the watch list for Tuesday, January 10th. The SPY is still kind of hanging out near all-time high, so we just go about our business with our watch list. Weight Watchers was on, WTW was on Bounce Watch after this big pop, and a couple days lower, I thought it might turn. No trades in it today. Now it's just back down to where it bounced from last time around 11. That is um, actually some really strange action because that's a huge candle and three days back down. Um, certainly worth watching for a bounce now. I mean, it definitely goes on bounce watch um, for tomorrow. IDXG, just another down day. No trades in it today. Just goes back on bounce watch for tomorrow. GEVO, I didn't catch a trade in this one today, but it goes back on bounce watch tomorrow. Um, they did a reverse split, so I think it's pretty tiny float. You had this pop, then you had an inside day on lower volume. I'm not in love with this one, but I, I still think it's worth having on a chart. OREX, I feel like this one still needs to come in another day or so, but man, it had huge volume on the way up, and perhaps we sell off at the open and then catch a turn and then turn back up. But I, like I said, I like them. I like them more when they come back down to at least the eight day. So just goes back on watch tomorrow. No trades in it today. AMAG, um, sometimes a stock gets beaten up on an intraday basis and just can't bounce at all. And then the next day you catch a bounce. Certainly has some support in the $22 to $23 area. And it fell a long way to get there today. So sometimes the next day you catch a bounce. Again, not bullish on the chart. But um, since I'm a day trader and I'm looking for things that can just make me money on an intraday basis tomorrow because I'm in cash every night, um, this is a good chance. You know, this one has a good chance of... Uh, now that we have an overnight or reset, so to speak, sometimes they can catch a bounce the next day. So uh, it's worth having on a chart. CBAY, um, after the gap up, it went all the way up to what, 285? And now it's back down, almost got to the eight day here today. Uh, it's time to start watching this one for a bounce. VKTX, on uh, talk about extended. This one is extended. Um, nice breakout today, though. So maybe we get a red to green or something like that in tomorrow. CYCC. Keep in mind, a lot of these I'll keep on watch for several days. CYCC did break out today. Um, I was watching this coiled pattern, but I didn't catch a trade in it. Um, but you know what? If it gets through today's high, which would be 604, you look to the left, you've got this high of 618, and then you kind of have blue skies above that. So I am going to put this on watch for tomorrow. Um, that's CYCC. WPCS. This one is a really, really small, um, you know, look at the volume. Today's this was a volume spike, so it caught my attention, but this was only 376,000. Um, so it tells you how thin this thing is. It's interesting though, over that 145 area. I'm gonna pan out a little bit here. Uh, you can't really see much else. I have to go to the weekly chart. And that doesn't really help either, does it? Anyway, um, it, it's definitely coming out of nice support down below in this uh, 115 to 130 area. There's a lot of trading in that area and it's kind of sneaking up. This is probably my least favorite of all of them because it, I'm a big fan of trading stuff that's had high relative volume recently and this one um, doesn't really have that. So it's still interesting um, because of the float I'm gonna watch it. GNVC, um, okay. Uh, normally I'd say this one is extended. Uh, I mentioned this one today in chat over like, I can't remember, over 430 or something like that. It ended up by the end of the day going through five. In after hours, I think this just touched eight. So now things, you know, you know how many things are getting stupid out there. Um, another low floater that's going nuts. I don't even know if it had news after hours. Um, I did say in chat when this thing was like 430 or 440, I said the daily chart's super interesting plus the float. I said if this thing closes strong, it's probably going to gap tomorrow. And I had no idea it was going to close all the way up at five and then um, in after hours go to eight. But it'll just go on our watch list tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Um, I wish it wasn't so far ahead of itself here. Uh, URRE, you know, you can call these topping tails, which I don't like, um, but you'd have a high, a lower high, and a lower high. Um, so you do kind of have a flag. I do want to watch this one for a potential long. You know, basically, it tried to break out here over this recent high, and it's kind of hanging out right at that area. So we'll see. If it gets some volume, it might be worth a shot. ROKA, little extra volume today, closing at 490. This is another one that's getting stupid in after hours. It is at 620 right now. Um, so all the way up here. Uh, again, another, just this will just land on our gap play list tomorrow. We'll see if we can catch a morning gap play. A lot of times my gap play, um, I'm done five to 10 minutes into the session and I got my daily goal and I don't have to trade anymore. So learning how to trade these gappers, learning how to, what to look for in the pre-market and which ones to focus on at the open and then what to look for at the open, 
how to process your entries and so on. Um, it's a valuable skill in trading because that's to me that's when the best chance when you get the most volume right at that opening bell. Um, that's the best chance to get your daily goal in a hurry and then sidestep all the chop after the first hour. Anyway, um, so that's R O K A. And then hopefully, in addition to some of these that are going to be gappers tomorrow, we'll find some other gappers as well. Um, a decent little list here. We, we, you know, I only need one decent trade out of all these uh, to make my day. So um, we'll, we'll do this. We'll add the gappers in the morning. Um, and we'll leave it at that. I was going to show you this. I, this isn't on my list, but I just noticed it. This CHNR. You had the big pop, then you had another pop, and it's really coiled. The reason I'm not, I, I don't really like it is I think it trade. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I think this is traded less than 9,000 shares today. So this is going to have to get volume and get like up through 280 before it becomes interesting. Uh, but maybe keep that one in the back of your mind. Um, you know, that one's going to have to have news. But the chart pattern is fairly interesting. Anyway, I don't want to babble about that. We've got a decent list for tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.